Stick around and I'll show you how you can create this stylish donut chart. The first thing you have to do is to drop a donut chart. Place your cursor anywhere on your data set. Press Ctrl A to select your data set. Next, you're going to go to Insert and under Charts, they can actually do a donut chart like this. Next, uh, erase your header and your legend. And while selecting your donut chart, press Ctrl 1 on your keyboard and get rid of the fill and border like this and close this pop-up window here. After that, you can actually resize and reposition your donut chart. The next thing you're going to have to do is to insert a data label at the center that shows the value of 68. Go to Insert and then go to Text Box and place it somewhere at the center. At this point, it does not matter where you put it, we'll align it shortly after. After that, go to Formula Bar and you're going to say Equal and select D4 on your worksheet and press enter here and you'll see a value of 68 here like this. Then go ahead and select your text box and press Control 1 on the keyboard and get rid of the fill and lines around it. And then double click to highlight your 68 like this and then after that let's align it to the center, middle and then change the font to maybe call it uh, impact and then increase the font size to slightly bigger. I'm going to assign it to be about 68 and after that Select your chart and then press Control on your keyboard and select your text box and then go to Shape Format, Arrange, Align, Center, Align, Middle. And this is what it's supposed to look like when it's all said and done. Now to shape your slices, first select the orange slice, press Control 1 on your keyboard, go to Fill and then in here, you're going to, under the fill, you're going to select the same blue color as your, the other slice of the blue color. And after that, say no border and set the transparency to be about 75 and then press enter on your keyboard and it should look something like that. Next, let's work on the other slice, left mouse click on it. After that, scroll down a bit while selecting the new slice here, go to solid line and then change this to the same blue color as the uh, slices blue color. And after that, increase this uh, width to about say 28 points. Let's see what it looks like. Press enter on your keyboard and it should look something like that. And after that, scroll down a bit. You're going to change the cap type to be round and change this dash type to be dots, round dots like this and it will look something like that. And that's all you have to do. Job complete.